everyone, Miss Wanda here and welcome to Baby Story Time. Now this story time is geared towards babies and young toddlers, but if you have older children at home with you, you can certainly enjoy this together as a family. But for the babies, I would ask that you put them on your lap so that they are close to you so you can interact with them during the story time. Not only will we be reading books, but we will also be doing songs, rhymes, and finger plays. And those you can help them to do it, or you can do it for them depending on their age. So I have one more thing to mention, and that during story times, I usually use a prop, either a shaky egg or a piece of fabric, like a scarf. So while we're settling in, if you have a, like a kitchen towel, a t-shirt, um, a washcloth, any piece of fabric, a little blanket, that would be fine. Anything that's made of fabric that can flit around nicely in the air. Okay? And that being said, let me introduce you to my demonstration doll friend. This is Sally. Little ones, can you say hi to Sally? Sally's going to wave to you. Hello. Can you wave back? Great. Well, I'd like to start off with a hello song. So let's begin. We're going to start by clapping our hands and we sing. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? Welcome now to story time. Welcome now to story time. Welcome now to story time. I'm glad you're here today. I'm so glad to see you. Come and play with me. Let's clap our hands and count to three. Ready, go one, two, three. Again, I'm so glad to see you. Come and play with me. Now let's bounce up and down and count to three. Let's do a bounce now. Ready, go one, two, three. Now wiggles. I'm so glad to see you. Come and play with me. Let's wiggle our feet and count to three. Can you wiggle them? Go one, two, three. Great job. Great job. Now, to further get the wiggles out, we're going to do every week a bounce rhyme and a tickle rhyme. And typically I do these two times. So that the first time you're learning how to do it and the second time you can relax and enjoy it a little bit more. And this one is really easy. It's called Smooth Road, Bumpy Road. So with your child in your lap, you're just going to sway them a little bit side to side as if you're going on a smooth car ride. And then the road gets bumpy. So then I'll say Bumpy Road, Bumpy Road, and kind of shake them gently side to side, only as much as they will tolerate, of course. And then Rough Road, which we will go like this. Rough Road, Rough road and then the secret at the end is you open up your knees and slide them down and go oh! <gasps> did i give that away all right let's begin smooth road smooth road bumpy road bumpy road rough road rough road oh! did it get you aha sally where are you <gasps> There she is. Let's do it again, shall we? Smooth road, smooth road. Bumpy road, bumpy road. Rough road, rough road. Oh. Oh. There she is. She didn't go far that time. All right. Now we're going to bring it down as we get ready to read our stories. So we're going to do a little tickle rhyme. And this one is round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. A lot of you may know this one already and I've done it before in my story times. I'll do it twice. I'm going to do it on the palm of her hand. You can choose a different part of your baby's body, whatever part is maybe the most ticklish perhaps. Okay, and then I'll be switching her hands. Okay, here we go. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two step, tick under there. Let's do it again. You can pick a different tickle spot too. You don't have to always go under their arms if you're doing it on their palms. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. 
One step, two step, tickle under there. Great job, everyone. Now I'm going to put Sally down and I will introduce you to our story today. I will do one to two books at each story time, but this one's a little bit longer because it is very interactive. In fact, you have to help me with this entire story in order to get it to work. That's right, I need you to help. So, can you hold your finger up like this? Or maybe mom can do that, okay? So in this book, we're going to be using our fingers, okay? And we're gonna be shaking our fingers around, pressing forward, not all the way to the screen necessarily, but just forward, okay? And we're gonna be clapping, that's right. And we're gonna be shaking our hands and doing different things like that. It's really fun. So this book is called Press Here and is by Hervé Toule and it is published by Chronicle Books. So I'm gonna come a little closer to the screen so you can see it. You can see it really good and that way you can reach for it, okay? Why is this book called Press Here? We're gonna find out. Ready? Press here and turn the page. Okay, ready? Press. What? There's two dots now. One, two. Great. Now, press the yellow dot again. That's the one in the middle. Ready? You can help me out with that and press. Let's turn the page and find out. Now there's three dots. One, two, three. Oh, perfect, perfect. Now it says rub the dot on the left gently. Okay. Did you do it too? Okay, I'll turn the page then. Whoa, it's a different color. It turned red. Well done. And now the one on the right says, gently. So that's this one right here. Ready? Let's rub it. Okay, let's see what will happen next. Do you want to guess? Okay, let's turn the page. Whoa! Now it's blue! Fabulous! Now five quick taps on the yellow. Okay, I'm going to bring it closer. We have to do five quick taps. One, two, three, four, five. Let's turn the page, see what happens. <gasps> wow! Wow! Look at all those dots! Now, it says five taps on the red, which is this one. Ready? Bring it closer, we'll do five taps. One, two, three, four, five. Can you guess what's gonna happen next? Let's see. <gasps> oh, yes, there are more red dots now. Look at that. And finally, five taps on the blue. Let's give that one a try. Ready? Bring it closer. One, two, three, four, five. I'm excited, aren't you? <gasps> Whoa, did you guess there would be more blue dots then? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Now, it says try shaking the book just a little bit. So I'm going to shake it. Okay. Let's see what that does. Ooh, they're, they're all over. Not bad. And it says, but maybe a little bit harder. So I guess we can do more, okay? So if you're at home, I'm, I forgot to tell you, so you can shake, shake, shake your hand like that, okay? Ready? Shake, shake, shake that hand. I'm gonna shake the book. A little harder this time. <gasps> Whoa, there, well done. Now. Tilt the page to the left just to see what happens. Hmm. All right, so it's at my left or your left? Well, I'm going to go this way. <gasps> oh, and now we have to tilt it again a little more the other way. Let's go. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. They're all jumbled up on that side. Excellent. Now it says shake the book one more time just to get everything back in order. Let's see if that works. 
So with your hands, you can kind of shake it, shake it, shake it. Pretend you're shaking the book with me. Ready? Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Now, try pressing down really hard on all the yellow dots. Okay, that's what it says to do. So let's do it. Ready? I'll bring it closer. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Did you press them too? Okay, I'll turn the page. What happened? This is all dark now. What color is that? It's, it's black. Yeah, not bad. Now, it says shake them up a little bit. So you can shake with your hand out there. I'm going to shake the book right here. And let's see what happens after shaking, shaking, shaking. Whoa. Wow. That's pretty, isn't it? Try blowing on them to get rid of the black. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to blow on the book and you can blow towards it too. Okay. Ready? <sighs> Wow, that's pretty cool. Hmm, but maybe a little bit harder. Okay, ready? <sighs> oh, oops! That must have been a little bit too hard, especially with everyone out there helping us. Oh, okay, it says stand the book up straight to make those dots drop down again. Okay, my book is a little bit tilted, so I'm going to stand her up straight. And there you go. That's perfect. Now, clap your hands once. Hmm. Okay, you clap and, and I'll hold the book like this and I'll clap. Okay, ready? Okay. Let's turn the page to see what happens. I can't wait. Oh! What happened? It got bigger. Oh, it says clap twice. Okay, here we go. Clap, clap. Okay, did you do it too? Let's see. <gasps> wow. Three times, three times. Okay, let's clap three times now. Ready? One, two, three. And... More, more, more! Let's do it more! Ready? Let's do it a lot. Ready? <sighs> okay. Are you done clapping yet? Let's try that again. Woo! Must have been too loud, it says. Now quick, press the white dot. Right there. Bravo. And back to the same yellow dot. If you want to do it all over again, I'm not going to do it all over again right now, but you can find this book and other books by this author, Hervé Today, in the library. And they're a lot of fun. The interactive books are really wonderful for you and your child to sit together and do. But I'm going to be doing a song now, and it's about a circle. Yes, because in our story, the dot is a circle shape. Can you hold up your finger and go like this, make a little circle shape? Maybe use your whole fist if you need to. That's right, that's right. Now, in our song, it goes to the tune of uh, Wheels on the Bus, and a circle is a shape that goes round and round. Now we're going to be doing this different ways because there's different ways that you can make a circle with your hand. We can make it a small one with our finger like this, or for babies, you can use your fist and we can make a bigger circle like this with your whole hand. I can use the other one too. And then we can make a gigantic circle like this with both hands. Crisscross and around, crisscross and around. So parents with babies in your lap, you want to do this with their arms and their fingers or their hands, whatever's comfortable for you. And for my older friends, feel free to do whatever circle shape you want to. 
And in addition, if you want to use your scarf, you can also use that to go round and round. Okay, I'm going to be doing this last though, so we can so I can show you the arm movements. Okay, ready? A circle is the shape that goes round and round, round and round, round and round. A circle is the shape that goes round and round. A circle is the shape that's round. Now let's do it again this way. A circle is the shape that goes round and round. Big circle, round and round. Round and round, a circle is a shape that goes round and round. A circle is a shape that's round. Yes, I switched hands because you can do both arms. You can switch it during the song. Okay, let's do it again. A big, big circle this time. Crisscross up and down, cross in front of you and again. A circle is a shape that goes round and round, round and round. Round and round, a circle is a shape that goes round and round. A circle is a shape that's round. And finally, with our scarf, because we'll be doing scarf songs next anyways, so let's get it out now. A circle is a shape that goes round and round, round and round, round and round. A circle is a shape that goes round and round. A circle is a shape that's round. What's nice about using this prop is that it actually is making a visible circular shape in the air, so it's easier for your child to see it a little bit instead of just tracing it in the air. But while you have your scarves out, let's do peekaboo. Ready? Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you, I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peekaboo. Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, I see you, I see you, I can see your hair, and a smile right there, I see you, peek-a-boo. Good job, good job everyone. And now our final song with the scarf is We Wave Our Scarves Together. We'll always start with the peek song and we'll always end with this one as well. Okay, we wave our scarves together, together, together. We wave our scarves together because it's fun to do. Wave them up high, down low, really fast, really slow. We wave our scarves together because it's fun to do. Great job now. And story time is over now, so I always like to end with this song. Put your clapping hands back on, and we'll sing. Story time is over now, over now, over now. Story time is over now, until we meet again. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for joining me, and have a wonderful week. Check out more of our story times and activities on our Facebook page and online. Okay? Take care. Goodbye.